So today, what we're going to be taking a look at is going to be puck protection. Now, puck protection is a fundamental skill that every single hockey player should know and use on the ice. So we're going to be running you through the basics of it, the things to keep in mind while you're doing it to hopefully help you be able to keep control of that puck in those tight and tricky situations on the ice. Now, the main point about puck protection is going to be to use your body to create a barrier between the opponent and the puck. So we're going to be breaking it down into a few points, starting at the base of the player, working our way up, telling you what he's doing, how he's doing it, to hopefully help you learn this skill and use it on the ice. Now, regardless of what you're doing on the ice, your edges play a massive role. That's where you're going to be able to get your resistance to be able to push back, where you're going to be able to get your strength from, and of course, where you get all of your control from as well. Now, with puck protection, you're going to be heavily relying on those edges to give you that resistance. In terms of what your edges are doing, now your inside skate is going to be predominantly on its outside edge. Your outside skate is going to be on its inside edge. You want to maintain the points about an athletic stance in mind. Now, what we mean by that is remembering to keep a good wide base. You're going to have a deep knee bend because you're going to need to have a low center of gravity to be able to give you that control over your body on the ice. Now, those edges are going to be key to be able to keep you in control and keep you moving in the direction that you want to be moving in on the ice. So you're going to be heavily relying on those edges to dig into that ice and give you that resistance and control over the opponent. Now, taking a look at that upper body, now you're going to be relying on that core strength of yours. You're going to be using your entire upper body, your chest, your shoulders, your arms, to be able to create that resistance again. Protecting that puck is about you becoming, think of it as becoming the immovable object. You don't want that player to be able to just run straight through you. You want to offer that resistance. Keep them back. Keep control of that puck at all times. In terms of what your arms are doing, depending on the situation, now you have to be the best judge of this. If you want to be able to use one hand on the stick, or if you want to keep both hands on the stick. But just remember, body, barrier against the opponent trying to get to that puck. Now, if that means you need to put one of your hands out to offer a little bit more resistance and keep them back, more than welcome to do that. But the hand that you keep on the stick, you need to keep that stick rolled over because you want to keep control of that puck if you're turning or even if you're going straight or moving at speed. And also something that you'll see a lot of players do is extending the arm that's holding the stick as far from their body as they can, but still maintaining control of that puck. Again, you're using your body to create that barrier. You're moving the stick out to keep the puck the furthest away that you can from that opponent that's trying to take it from you. Points you want to keep in mind here is going to be that upper body, core strength, your edges, the extension of your arm to be able to keep that puck away from the opponent, but obviously still maintain control of it. The stick rolled over so you maintain control of that puck. And remember, strength, be that immovable object to keep them away from that puck. Now let's take a look at a couple of in-game scenarios where you can use puck protection to your advantage. Now, as a forward, a lot of the times we all want to go for the flashy dangle, put the puck between the player's legs. Now, that's not always going to be the best solution. Don't always try and cut inside. If they space on the outside of the D-man, take it. Once you get past him with speed, use that puck protection technique to cut into the slot and take a shot on the goal. So now as a D-man, you can also use the puck protection technique when you have a forechecker putting heavy pressure on you from behind the net. You can use it to give you a little bit more time to create the opportunity to make that breakout pass and move your team up ice. A massive thank you for watching. Be sure to share this video with somebody that always loses the puck on the ice. Give them a couple of pointers. Make sure you share this video with somebody that you know that this could work for. I also wanted to say a massive thank you to Kenny, George and Jim for helping us out with this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date with all of the latest videos that we post. And if you think that we missed something out or if there's a video that you'd like us to see film, post it down below in the comment section. Let us know what you would like to see. That's what we're here for. We're here to help you out. So let us know what you want to see next. But most important, Make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow us on all the social pages down below and check out the new website. We have a brand new website that we posted a couple of months ago. So make sure you check that out. Link will be down below in the description, but don't forget to subscribe. Take care. In a good position in front of you. Make sure that your feet are able to transition easily if needed. After the shot is taken, make sure to pick up a man or clear any rebounds out of the area. Finally, don't watch the puck. Read the situation to the best of your ability.